What's up guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how you can customize your own horizontal menu bars. Yes, in the past, we have done videos where I showed you two ways to set up those uh, horizontal navigation bars. They were definitely not as customizable. In this video, I want to show you how you can do that. And better yet, I will literally give you the code. All you do is you copy paste that code into your HTML Java spot and it's there, it's set up for you. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like and I'm going to show you what features to edit if you wanna customize and change your own bar, okay? But it's definitely much more efficient. And check out my previous video if you want where I show you uh, how you can set up your own vertical navigation bar, not horizontal. So that's something we didn't do in the past before. So let me just briefly show you. So here is our horizontal navigation bar. So here is something that ClickFunnels can do with absolutely no coding. But again, first of all, this limits you at six buttons. Here, if you have not as much text, you can put in as many buttons as you want, okay? You can put in 10 if you can fit them all in there, no problem. Um, the other thing is it's not as customizable once again. So in last video, I walked you through vertical horizontal bars, right? The ones that are just going like that on the side. Uh, not as customizable with buttons. So that's why I'm going to give you the code. You literally copy paste the code and I'll just show you what you can edit if you want to make changes. So let's jump right in. So I'm going to go here. So again, here's that. Now the code is a little bit different here. Okay. And again, see I named it horizontal bar here. Um, so just like in the previous video, what you can change is this for the names of your bar. So, you know, about us, home, uh, contact us by whatever you change that here in this area and for scrolling make sure you name all of your sections and click funnels though those those aquamarine colored teal colored sections make sure you name all of them um, because when you say scroll to this is where this is the section they're gonna scroll to okay so that's important uh, leave everything else as is uh, so here I named I named my uh, division horizontal bar because I needed to make space in the background for it okay so leave all of that as is now let me show you what you can play around with so the part where you should be playing around with are these two in this case these guys these guys will adjust your your content itself so you may be confused you may be thinking well what the heck's the difference between that and let me show you just like in click funnels you have your sections you have your rows, you have your columns, same thing here. So if I put a border, let me just show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna say border, you know, one pixel, or no, sorry, I have to say solid, one pixel red. So let me just copy that across everything and let me show you which part you're editing with which section. Uh, I already have a border there, right? And that's the hovering effect, so that's pretty simple. So I've put borders for you to see. So this first, the big outside red one, that's our division bar. That's the uh, number sign navigation, right? Or whatever we named it in this case, it was horizontal bar. Uh, so, so, so that's what that is. This part, if you change this part here, that's going to be the next level, right? So that's going to be this one. UL, okay? So that means unlisted, right? The next level you change, this one, you see that inside. If you make any changes to that, it's going to adjust this. And as you can see here, for example, I said vertical align middle. Um, and here I said text align center, right? So for example, if, 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 if I want to adjust this, this column in the center, I set it here, uh, text align center, right? So I, for example, it'll do nothing if I adjust this. So I need to adjust this section, horizontal bar UL, which is that thing. This is what I need to align in the center because whatever's inside it has to be centered, okay? So the next part then is our A, which is the anchor. So it goes from the whole thing to smaller, to smaller, to smaller, okay? And then it really narrows down. And that's what you see here. It goes from the large picture to smaller, to smaller, to, to each individual part, okay? So that's what we need to do. So you should be adjusting mainly these guys, mainly these guys. Um, and here's where you can do and add whatever you want. So for example, if I add, um, what did we have in the previous video with vertical bars? We had things like background color, padding, um, opacity. So let me maybe, let me add more padding, for example. So if I add more padding, 
make this for example 35 and make this 40 that's going to change the elements in in that particular like in in this hovering section right so as you can see here i've expanded my padding and that adjusted this it didn't adjust anything else as you can see it didn't change this area that area is still the same <laughs> it only adjusted the area in there okay so if you want to adjust your buttons and adjust the color and background color make sure you do it in this section here this one right because that's the one that's actually like the inside and that's where the font is and where everything is okay so that's that let me make this back as it is uh but basically you have the idea so play around with it but i'm I, like i said i'm just gonna give you this code all you do is you literally copy paste it right so i make the color black i'm gonna adjust that's gonna change the font color as well right so there now you see it's black so that's that if you guys have any questions comments concerns please leave them down below check the description below i'm gonna give you that code you literally like i said copy paste it and play around with it customize it as you see fit um, and that's it. So please subscribe if you already subscribed. Thank you. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.